Wait until you see this haul. I'm seeing it for the first time too. You guys are just not gonna believe it. I got such an incredible deal on the largest lot of loose Lego bricks I have ever bought. And it was amazing. It was actually acquired during my road trip there where I went to Calgary, Alberta, which was three hours away. And as I was on that road trip there, I decided to search my local classifieds and saw a 20 pound lot of Lego bricks. I immediately phoned the gentleman and was like, hey, I see your Lego lot there. We came to agreement on a great price. And then he told me that he had three more lots totaling 60 pounds of Lego. He had them for $130 a lot, so $390 total. And we came to an agreement at $250. Whoa, that's a lot of money. I know it is but 60 pounds of Lego, plus I was splitting it with a buddy. So we both took 30 pounds for 125 Canadian dollars each. Such a good value. And I cannot wait to go through it with you today because this is the first time I'm seeing it and I'm really excited. You can see this is the biggest box right here. It's full of bricks of all different colors. We also have two big, large freezer bags right here full of the smaller pieces and another big bag of Lego bricks right here in the classic Lego shopping bag. The reason it's in the Lego shopping bag is because I actually split the third box with my buddy. So I got the bag, he got the box and it was great. So let's dump the biggest one out here onto the kitchen table and let's have a rummage through it and see what's inside. Oh, oh. Oh, I see so many good elements and pieces. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of Lego. There's like classic bricks in here. There's plates, there's red, there's white. There's, what is that? Two by tens, there's two by fours, two by twos, two by threes, one by sixes, one by tens, one by twelves. We'll have a closer look at all that stuff in one moment here. Let's do ourselves a favor and let's dump this big bag on top of that pile. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is all of the stuff from the 30 pound lot. All of these bricks here also freezer bag number one and freezer bag number two full of the smaller parts. Not only that, but we've got some other bricks or other plates, these large thick panel plates, which are really cool. Gonna be great for landscaping. I think there's like four of those, four of those there. And I've also buried some large old school green plates with the rounded corners in here as well. Also a 32 by 32 base plate. Some of these have some odd dimensions, but I'm not sure what sets these would have come from. But I really like the look of these thick ones. They're, they're really interesting to look at, that's for sure. Now, that's that stuff there. There's also these, what? One, two, three, four shopping bags here as well. But what's inside those? Well, these were actually acquired from the Lego store pick-a-brick uh, wall uh, in Calgary. So there's a, a Lego store in Chinook Shopping Center and they have a pick-a-brick wall. And there was, a, there was a couple employees there that were like, I told them, you know what? I can pack cups, guys. I, I know how to pack cups. So I, I, the reason I haven't been buying pick a brick is because I can't, I don't have the opportunity to pack my own cup. And they said, you know what? We're gonna work with you. We understand that. So, you know, they gave us, they gave us a fair deal on four cups each. So that's, that I believe was two cups. We got another two cups there with some fantastic pieces inside. And then another cup in here with some more plates and stuff. That's great for building floors. Those ones in particular are light bluish gray. And then we have one more cup here that was all two by six in dark bluish gray. And take a look at all of these pieces. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of Lego. I don't really wanna dump this onto the table because I feel like they're somewhat neatly organized in here. So I'm gonna go find a container and we're gonna dump these bricks or these pieces into a container. And then we'll have a close look at all of these bricks that I acquired in this massive haul, which is crazy. Cause you're looking at $125 and then four cups 
So we're looking at 205 Canadian dollars for all of this Lego. I, I know that seems like a lot of money, but this is a lot of bricks. Like, that's crazy. So you, me, let's go. Let's have a closer look at all of this Lego in this gigantic lot. First off, look at this pile. Look how deep it is. My whole hand goes into the pile. Oh, and there's just color galore in here. One thing I will say is there's a lot of this style brick in there. Two by four, uh, two by eight, two by six, etc. A lot of people don't know what to do with that type of stuff, but I actually have a huge project that we're gonna be working on here in the not so distant future. So make sure you stay tuned to that because there's gonna be a huge project that I'm really excited to unveil to you guys. It's gonna be a community-based project for the new Lego room that involves a lot of those two by four, two by six, two by eight bricks. Now there's a lot of plate work in here too in dark bluish gray, some technic elements with the holes, cheese slopes and wedges in all sorts of different colors, arch pieces in white, technic pieces, we got odd shaped pieces like this here, all sorts of great stuff, slopes and wall panels in all different colors. This is just gonna be an immense sort for us here. This is a lot of the larger stuff. Here's a big bag of tires, tires and wheel uh, wells and whatnot. Also, um, inverted slopes. Now what I'm really looking for is those wall builders. What I like to refer as wall builders is those one by bricks. So one by fours, one by sixes, one by twelves. Whoa, one by twelve. That's pretty awesome. There's another one by twelve. Those are value bricks, what I'm going to call some of the most elite bricks in this lot here. Here's a nice piece that you could build a castle wall out of. All sorts of technic beams. Also circular bricks. Two by sixes, two by eights, brown four by eight panels. Look at this here. You got six by six panels. I just picked up some of those from Bricklink. Also, what is that? That's 12 by six plates. All sorts of different plates and, and bricks and all different shapes. Like this is just, like I was saying, the biggest lot and the most exquisite lot of bricks that I have ever picked up. And not only was it the best lot of bricks that I've ever picked up, but it was offered to me at the best price. Not really offered to me, but found by me. So if you guys have local classifieds, I would strongly recommend that you try and search those local classified ads and try and find some bulk lots like this because sure, this equates to a lot of work. However, there's just a lot of great pieces found in there that you can build essentially whatever you want out of. Now there's still this huge bag here of miniature pieces, but let's check out what I picked up from the pick a brick wall. So I picked up a huge cup of these, which is four by six dark bluish gray panels, four by four light bluish gray panels. Also these little window frames here. If I ever want to build a castle or a bridge, I feel like these would build a really good bridge or be part of a big bridge. Also these two by two circular brown tiles, which will be nice for uh, paving like a cobble, cobblestone street or for building a park. These are obviously wall builders, one by three and one by four in the tan and also light bluish gray colors. Take a look at that beam right there too. That's classic. A lot of old school style bricks in there, including those large uh, plates and those plates with the rounded edges. I don't see those very often because I'm a sort of a new school builder here. Uh, here's some of the smaller stuff. Here there's a lot of great stuff in here because you got your one by eight tiles and light bluish gray, dark bluish gray. You've got seats. You've got your one by two bricks in here. You've got some flame elements, some tree elements, technic with the single hole, all sorts of tile elements, slopes, one by two slopes, ladder pieces, circular pieces, two by two brick circles, everything in here in all sorts of different colors. So many different things. And just imagine what we're gonna be able to build and create with all of these bricks found in this huge lot. Now, like I was saying, make sure you stay tuned for a huge project that I'm gonna be unveiling within the next couple days. Also, we're gonna be sorting this right here in my kitchen during a live stream. Check out all my live streams in my live stream playlist if you're watching this video after. And yeah, man, man, am I ever pumped up. So I'm sure you guys know the feeling. There was definitely no saying no to this when I saw it on the local classifieds. I had to get it. 
Who knows how many bricks are actually in this lot? There are so many bricks. Wow. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for a lot more great stuff coming out in the near future. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my Lego sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and we'll see you again. Bye for now.